Let me ask you this one. This is a serious question. Okay. How good is Kyle Shanahan? Just how good is he? I mean, how long is the show? Dude, first of all. Where do you stand on Kyle? I need to know. A leader. It, I don't want anyone, anyone, anyone like riding the fence, okay? Where do you are you in or you out? All right, dude. I'm gonna get emotional. So just calm down. Okay, so this guy. You want to talk about a leader. You want to talk about accountability. Mm, there it is. There it is. The A word. Grant, you take it. Here's the thing about here's the thing about Kyle. I hear people say, you know, he's the second best head coach in the league. As if Andy Reid is obviously better than Kyle. It really pisses me off. I got I I I stay up at night fuming because most people think Kyle Shanahan isn't the best coach in football when he clearly is. Clearly is. Like Andy Reid gets to coach Patrick Mahomes who isn't quite as good as Brock Purdy. But mm -hmm. Kyle developed Brock Purdy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and that is more impressive than whatever Andy Reid has done with Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes was, he came, came developed. He was ready to go, I even mean, though they sat him on the bench for a year. Purdy needed Kyle's direct coaching, and that's why Purdy's so good. Like, Kyle is clearly better than Andy Reid, who's, to me, one of the more overrated coaches in sports. Well, definitely. Um, my yeah. biggest thing right now is that uh, we just have to look at the rest of the league. I mean, over half of the league is copying the man's system, right? Mm -hmm. um, he no one's copying Andy Reid's system. Nobody. He nobody. streamlined the entire offense. I mean, um, right now he's gracious enough to hire his father to keep him busy in the building. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, multiple coaches around the league have learned directly from his offense and to this day have all still been trying to just simply – utilize it right i mean i don't think there's anybody that's actually shown success with this offense outside of kyle um not it's, it's not like you can show me an example of someone sort of being around him memorizing the scheme taking it somewhere else putting their own spin on it and succeeding you, you can't show me one example of that no He's i don't think that there's one. anybody else honestly as far as success is concerned there's nobody that's even sniffed um the playoffs or a super bowl that have that's ran this offense or that have been inside of uh Kyle's um enclave. Like there's really been nobody, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like in a way, you kind of look at it as like Nick Saban and all of his assistants. Like they don't beat them. Mm -hmm. They don't beat them. Like they they completely become disheveled um once they see the Yeezys in the flat brim from across the sideline. It's it's yeah. it's quite a task. And yeah, I think I, what people don't understand is like on the Chiefs, the best coach on that team is Steve Spagnolo. Andy Reid is just totally overrated. He's all hype. Uh, but Spagnuolo's great. Um, but he's not the head coach. On the 49ers, Kyle is doing everything. He's the general manager. He's the head coach. He's the defensive coordinator. I mean, he's he's doing the best he can with the Steve Wilkes and the Nick Sorensons of the world. But really, like, Kyle is a one-man band in a way that no other coach is around the league. Andy Reid isn't doing it all like Kyle. Like, And the fact that Kyle hasn't won a Super Bowl yet, to me, is completely insignificant. That's not what you play football for. It's about consistency. It's about stats. It's about highlights. And who has better highlights than the 49ers? Who has better stats than the 49ers? I mean, they're DVOA, they're CPOE, they're OPP, and it's all off the charts. You know me. Right. <laughs> I will. Yeah, you're ridiculous. <laughs> I will. I will say, man. Uh, Kyle has done a great job with the team. Um, as far as the running game, one thing that I do feel like he needs to stay on top of is um, utilizing the running game in um, pertinent pertinent parts of games. Uh, what? My biggest. What? What do you mean? Did you just criticize Kyle Shanahan? Did you say something that he could do better? What? Not. <laughs> Dude, we're not doing that today. Who do you think you are? You think you know better than Kyle? You think you know better than Kyle? No. If he I, let, me, let me make me something real clear. If Kyle does something, makes a decision, that's the right call. And it's not just the right call, it's the smartest decision that there's ever been. I
How dare you? Look, I I get it. I get it. He's he's beyond reproach. All right. If ever there was a coach who was beyond reproach, it's him. Yeah, I'll tell you this. Uh, he's already a Hall of Fame coach. Thank if you. He Thank you. If he stopped Thank coaching, like, I, like, okay, so if he stopped coaching today, do you think Kyle would be a Hall of Fame coach? Absolutely. If the Niners fired him today, the Chiefs would fire Andy Reid on the spot and hire Kyle Shanahan, as would the other teams. You, you, you thought it was a big deal when LeBron James was on the market? 15... We just wait until there's the Kyle Shanahan sweepstakes. You have no Dan Campbell fired. John Harbaugh, you're out. Now, just for a you. chance to talk to Kyle. A hundred percent. I mean, um, that's just what it is. Facts yeah. over feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, no, man. I, I mean, I get it, man. I mean, um, the the fans and the support that Kyle has is unmatched. Uh and rightfully so. Uh, so we'll see as far as like how he moves forward. 